So I've just dried that up and cleaned a few bits up. So it now, after the book text, it says glue something down. So I'm just going to get my um, image box. So um, I was going to use different images, but I've got this um, box here that I have like my collages in. So excuse me while I just have a little rummage and decide what I want to add. I might not add anything out of here because some of these images are quite um, large, as you see. That wouldn't be right on there. So I know I can trim them down, but um, there's not like room for something like that. I don't want to be losing some of this here, so I'm rummaging as quick as I can. Maybe I should have done this off camera, but never mind. Nobody's perfect. No, they're all big images. Never mind. So, let's get the other box. Have a look in here. <laughs> So this is like my other ones that I colour in or use for card making more. So quite like the flowers, so I think I might have I don't want to put it down there yet in case I'm not going to use it, but probably that one. So uh, let's find something else. Or I might just have that one. Who knows what I'm gonna have? Sorry, I won't. Sorry, I'm keep going quiet. I'm not quite with it at the moment. I like the flowers, but what else could I use? I suppose I could cut that right. So those are my things to glue down. I'm just going to pop that up there. Right. So I don't want to use all of that. So I'm going to trim it, cut down roughly. It won't be terrific because me and fussy cutting do not go. Because we know it, so that's going to go there, and that's going to go there. right. Some more tacky glue. That's going to go there, and then we'll have my flowers there. I seem to be using quite a few like springy things at the moment, maybe because it is spring, and that's going to go. There. Right, so that is glue something down. Add circles so I'm just going to find another paint and I think um I've got green on there I've got like many colours so it's a bit oh let's have this peachy one I haven't used this one much um so this is the cosmic shimmer matte paint in Persian <coughs> excuse me Persian orange so won't use too much of that. Let's just find a brush. So add yeah, add circles. Oh clumsiest brush we really have had it. <laughs> I need to um get some new brushes somewhere. I think these pick tens are quite fun because I mean, when Cindy does it, she's got no idea what is coming next. I mean, at least here I've got a rough idea, but I don't plan what I'm going to use, really. I just go, oh, well, that paint would do, or... Oh, yeah, this paintbrush really, really has had better days, but never mind. And let's do something. Let's do a half circle. I didn't say I couldn't do half circles. Yeah, so this brush isn't great, but it's adding some texture and I think I'm going to do a half. Circle in that corner. And I want something now. Let's have a circle here. Right, so that's circles added. Then it's got turn work upside down. 
and then so it's got turn work upside down which I'm going to do and then it's got um, paint with your eyes closed so that's going to I mean I know you know I'm not you won't be able to see whether I've got my eyes closed or not but I promise I will so I'm just going to get another paintbrush because that one's not very nice and I think I might add another colour I think I'm going to add some blue well it wouldn't be me unless I had blue or teal in it so it's got, got to add something so. right okay so you're not going to know if I've got my eyes closed or not but I promise 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 that I will have them closed well that's a bit dribbly so I did have them open to put them in there right okay so my eyes are closed that's the paper there. Okay. It's weird because you don't, it's a weird feeling this. I don't like this. I probably wouldn't, I can see why Cindy didn't like it. I definitely wouldn't be doing it again. Because I feel dizzy anyway, it's not a nice feeling. So I'm only going to do it a little bit more because I don't have my eyes closed. It's not not very nice. It's a not nice thing. Right, okay. Oh, well, that's not too bad. So. Yeah, <laughs> that's different. <laughs> um, right, and then it's got... Yeah, turn work upside down. I can't remember how many prompts. Sorry, I just feel like I've missed something. So, so I'm just going to go through it. So, stamp onto wet gesso. We've done that. We've added a quote. Yes. We've used non-dominant hand, which was one thing. And then there was another one saying bubble wrap. So, we've done those. Add book text. Done that. Glue something down. So, we've done that. Add circles. Done that. Turn work upside down. Um, paint it with my eyes closed. So add a flower or metal. I sort of got flowers on there anyway. Or metal. So I'm just going to have a look in my flower box. So I won't be a second and see what I can find. Sorry, I'm rummaging away and you're all over there not knowing what I'm doing. But yeah, have a look in my flower box. So it says add a flower or metal. And I've got those. So I think I'm just going to pop that there. I don't know if I want to use that one. I suppose I could pop it there. No, we'll pop that one there because otherwise it'll just go back in there and not get it. Oh, and I won't get rid of the acetate because I've got an idea of what I do with that somewhere. Right, so those are all the steps. Something I am going to do, because I'm not, there's a few things I'm not overly, um, I just want to go round, um, I can't think, brain has just gone. There's a few things I just want to add. This is really weird. It is totally odd. Like I said, I think this is why I like the top tens, because, um, the pit tens, I say top tens, but I mean pit tens. Um, you don't know how it's going to go. You've got no idea and it's just totally turned out. I know that this isn't part of the pick tens, but I just want to go um, round some bits just to make them pop a bit more. And as it's my um, artwork, I can. Woohoo. Sorry, I'm in a bit of a weird mood. Weird, but then I am a little bit odd. So I've just used a Tim Holtz um, Distress Marker just to go around a few bits and it's called Salty Ocean. So um, yeah, so I'm just going to get my finger and them. 
put the lid on my glue before that dries out because I wouldn't be happy if that happened. This art shirt I'm so naughty with because I, when I've got it on I wipe glue and all sorts in it. It's really disgusting but I like it. Right, so let's just rub this in. This, I will just say in case you didn't hear because I was giggling and stuff. Um, adding the Tim Holtz crayon wasn't one of the... Um, one of the um, steps. I just felt I needed something just round certain bits in my um, page. So I'm going to call that done. So thank you very much for watching and I hope someone see you all soon. Bye!